Good morning, my grade 11 students. Welcome to our tonight class. But before we proceed, I want you to get your notebook and ball pen and your learning module. And lastly, observe the proper etiquette. The first one, use the chat box in answering. Listen very well and stay focused. And lastly, participate in our online discussion. What is our objective for today? It is the most essential learning competencies is to describe unifying things in the study of life, show the connection among living things and how they interact in their environment. Now, what is life? What is the meaning of life? Yes, it is easy to identify life. It is the ability to get and use energy, ability to reproduce, born and die, grow and respond. The unifying themes of life give us an idea on how of these things contribute to the connection and interaction of all living organisms and to their environment. But before we proceed, Let's do this. I have here defined themes of living things. The first one is the reproduction, environment, evolution, regulation, and energy. And to the side part, we have here description. The first one is letter A, it is surrounding of all living things. Letter B, the generation to generation change of living things. Letter C, it is capacity of living things to act or move with the power. Letter D, living things regulate with their internal condition. And lastly, living things has the ability to reproduce. I want you to match the unifying things of life to their description. I will give you five seconds to answer. You can comment down your answer below. Start now. For number one answer, please. Okay, time's up for number one. Okay, very good. The answer is letter E. How about number two? Environment. Comment down your answer. What is your answer? Okay, very good. It's letter A. How about number three? Evolution. Okay, well job. It's letter B. And number four? Okay, very good. Letter D. And lastly, energy, we have, what is your answer? Okay, letter C. Okay, very good and well done, everyone. So first, we have here the 10 unifying themes in study of life. The first one is the biological system. System is the combination of parts that can form a more complex organization. It has properties that are based on the arrangement and interaction of its parts. Our body, like they are any organism, it is a living system that is certainly more than the sum of all parts and so are all biological systems. We have here the muscular system. Also, we have here the blood flow in human circulatory system. And we also have the digestive system. And we also have what we call the ecosystem. The ecosystem is a graphic area where plants, animals, and other organisms as well as weather and landscape work together to form a bubble of life. The ecosystem, biotic living parts as well as abiotic factors or non-living parts. Biotic factors include plants, animals, and other organisms. And for number two, we have what we call the cellular basis of life. Cell. Cell is not only make up living things. They are the living things. They are found in all plants, animals, and bacteria. Many of the basic structure found inside all types, as well as the way those structure works, fundamentally are very similar. So the cell is said to be the fundamental unit of life. An organism may be able up, made up of single cell or many cells working together. And these cells carry out the major body function, function to make up an organism or make up an organ. 
The first one is heart, our lungs, our brain, and our kidney. They are all made up of cells. And for number three, we have function and form. This eagle. Eagle feathers are lightweight, yet extremely strong, hollow, high, yet highly flexible. Feather structure makes pliable possible. It's direct relationship between the structure of things and the way it's function. It is the form and the function of living things and allow it to survive. Number four, we have the reproduction and inheritance. Like begets like, an old saying to describe the ability of organisms to produce of their own kind. We have the mother and the child. We have their the lion and the cub. We also have the mother plant and the baby plant. And we also have the mother fish and the fingerling. Genes are responsible for familiar semblance. Also, genes are made up of formation-rich mo molecules called the DNA. Each cells in our body contain a body of entire DNA that we inherited from our parents. When a cell decided copies of each DNA and passes this genetic generation. Heredity, the passing of gene genetic traits from parents of offspring. Children look similar to their parents because of the traits they inherited. And also, the inherited DNA direct transformation of fertilized egg into the person with his her characteristic. And for number five, interaction with environment. No organism is completely isolated for its surrounding. As part of an ecosystem, each interact continuously with the environment. Interaction with environment like the hypothesis. Hypothesis is a process by which plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create oxygen, energy, into form of sugar. And we also have the interaction of the plants, the roots of the plants, into the rocks. Plants also have impact on surrounding. As a plant grows, its roots break up to the rocks, release acid that change the rocks. And also, we have the energy and life for number six. The carbohydrates, the fats, the protein gives energy. Energy is essential to life and all living organisms. Organisms use stored energy in food to fuel all living processes. Food is an organic molecule that serves as a fuel and building materials for all organisms. And for number seven, regulation. Regulation is the ability of organism to self-regulate, to maintain the stable internal environmental despite changes in the external environment. They begin by looking at how human body regulates temperature and the value of fever of high. We also have the homeostasis or steady state. It's an organism ability to keep a constant internal environment. Homeostasis is an important characteristic of all living things. They keep a stable internal environment requires constant adjustment or condition change inside, outside the cell. Adjusting to the system within the cell, it is called homeostatic regulation. And we also have for number eight is adaptation. An adaptation is an inherited trait that helps the organism ability to survive, reproduce its particular environment. It is charge in species over generation in order to better to survive in the environment. Adaptation, like the polar bear, they have a thick white fur to help keep bear warm for camouflage in the snow. We also have the camel humps containing fats, which a camel can cause use for energy. And we also have the long neck of giraffe and legs, to help the animals reach food high up in the tree. And for number nine, evolution. Process of change. Yes, it is a process of change. It's a change in the characteristic of living things. Over time, as described by Charles Darwin, 
Evolution occurs by process called natural selection. They explain how living things are changing today and how modern living things have descended from ancient life form that no longer exists here on Earth. And we have here evolution. Also, our biologists use the word evolution, especially to mean a generation-to-generation -generation change in the proposition of different inherited genes in the population. And for number 10, biology and society. More than ever more, modern biology is changing human life every day, every day. And also, biology and society, the researcher have to understand the best way to treat medical condition in human. They help us to treat certain illnesses, diseases causing bacteria, causes res resistance to antibiotics, improving treat to mental illnesses. And aside from that, they help us in our environmental issues like the plant land pollution, the water pollution, the air pollution, and lastly, the environmental pollution. Yes, our animals, all living things, they are all interconnected to one another. We are all interconnected to each other. We adapt, we survive, we reproduce, and we interact to one another because we are all living things. And lastly, I want you to answer this. Let's do more. I want you to get your notebook and write down 1 to 5 and please choose the correct letter for picture number 1. What can you see on the picture? You can choose from A, adaptation, B, evolution, C, regulation, D, energy, E, interaction, F, heredity. Next, picture number 2. Write down your answer on your notebook. Picture number 3. For picture number 4. And lastly, picture number 5. Okay, now I'm going to reveal the correct answer. I want you to check your paper. Answer number 1. Number 1 is letter E. For number 2, letter A. For number 3, letter D. And for number 4, letter B. And lastly, we have number 5, letter F. Okay, are you done? Now, okay. So I want you not to comment down your scores. Okay, who got five? Four? Yes? I can see some answer. Some scores there. Five? Four? Okay, very good. Three? Five? Okay, thank you so much for your participation. Okay, next we have here. The sum of my lesson for today. All living things can maintain and more or less constant internal environment, which is called homeostasis. All living things have multiple levels of organization and consist of one or more cells. Living things can use energy, incapable of metabolism. All living things grow and develop. All living things can involve adaptation to their environment. All living things can detect and respond to environmental stimuli. And lastly, all living things are capable of production which is the process by which living things give rise to offspring. And we have here the 10 unifying themes of life. The first one is the biological system. The number two, the cellular basis of life. And the number three, form and function. For number four, reproduction and inheritance. For number five, interaction with environment. And number six, energy and life. For number seven, regulation. Number eight, adaptation. And number nine, evolution. And lastly, we have the biological, the biology and the society. These are the ten unifying themes of life in our living things. Now, what have you learned at this moment, at this time? I want you to guess this one. For number one, the ability of the horse to run fast and jump high. 
I want you to comment down your answer. Start now. Okay, what is your answer? And the answer is function and form. Very good, guys. For question number two. Is a change in species over the generation in order to better and survive environment? What is your answer? Okay. So, what is your answer? Okay, very good. Well done. It is adaptation. We have here number three for guessing game. It is describe the ability of the organism to produce their own kind. What is your answer? Okay, okay, the answer is reproduction. Very good, well done. And we have here another guessing game. Genes is responsible for family resemblance. What is your answer? And the answer is? Okay, inheritance. Okay, very good. And we have here another guessing game. The system is a combination of parts that can form a more complex organization. And what is your answer? Yes, very good. It is biological system. Okay, well done. Thank you so much. And I've seen so many responses. And thank you so much for your participation. Love. Take good care of them. Control. Protect. All living things need love, caring, controlling, and protection. Be one of them. Now, lastly, choose the correct answer for our last activity. For number one, I want you to comment down your answer. For number one question, it is the maintenance of stable internal condition in spite of changes in the external environment. Letter A. Ecosystem, B. Environment, C. Living things, D. Hemiostasis. What is your answer? Comment down your answer. Okay, and the answer is letter D. Number two, question. The ability of all animals to fly, jump, run, and swim. Letter A. Form and function, B. Biological and society, C. Biological system, D. Cellular basis of life. What is your answer? And the answer is? Okay, very good. It's letter A. And for number three, it is the generation to generation change in the proportion of different inherited genes in a population. Letter A, ecosystem. Letter B, inheritance. And letter C, adaptation. And letter D, evolution. What is your answer? Comment down your answer, please. And the answer is letter D. And number four. It is a change in the species over generation in order to survive in the environment. A. Adaptation. B. Evolution. C. Environment. D. Function. What is your answer? Comment down. And the answer is letter A. Adaptation. And for number five, it is obtained in chemical form in sugar, fats, and other fuel-like molecules in your food. A. Life. B. Biology. C. Energy. D. Things. What is your answer? Comment that down. And the answer is letter C. Energy. And lastly, answer your learning module. If you have some question and clarification, please ask your teacher and do attend your follow-up class. And remember, stay focused, think positive, and keep safe. Thank you so much everyone for listening and for your participation. Good day, Valenzuelanos.